What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the ELO site versus the Reflex site. Two commonly used reticles here within Black Ops 3, probably the two most main used. And my big thing recently has been, I've been trying to go for Dark Matter and things like that. Rank up weapons, use new weapons, so some of these would require me to use a reticle simply because the iron sights are not adequate in my personal preference. However, one of these two I do feel very strongly about about here and honestly might even go as far to say that it might be the best reticle in Call of Duty history. So with that said, what is the difference really between the reticles of the Reflex site and the ELO site? Honestly, there's not too much. The sway is exactly the same, the magnification and zoom is exactly the same, the dot size is relatively the same, if not exact once again. So it really all comes down to personal preference. However, that is a big piece here that really plays into it. The builds of the reticles themselves are where this personal preference can come into and where we can see these physical properties being defined a little bit more in terms of different characteristics. So the reflex site that we've come to know and love now here as pretty much the generic staple red dot site, as many will call it, is an outlining metal bar as its reticle on top of the iron sights, right where you'd look down and see those iron sights, there is now a iron metal bar obstructing the view. So you have now three corners in your screen cut out completely because of this, and that is where it's going to be very intrusive. Now on top of there being a reticle bar in your field of view here, there also is a little bit of a reticle glass texture. Now this is something that can be seen very, very slightly in some corners of the reticle, and depending on the angle that you have the sun's model in the sky beating down on you, that sounds so stupid to think about and how trivial it can be but at times it can distort the clarity of the image that you're seeing through your reticle. However, the ELO, since it is a projected red dot, it does not have any of those properties and it is just a simple and clear image, as well as it does not have a full reticle going around it with an outlining shape cutting into your field of view. So honestly, if it is up to me, I would definitely 100% choose the ELO site over a standard reflex site. And once again, with that being said, how it very little cuts into what you can see on screen screen, how precise it is here for these same properties. I would honestly say that this is perhaps the best and most precise reticle that we've ever seen in Call of Duty. I'd be willing to go with that stretch here, and I live and die by this reticle here for ones that I can't use the iron sights on. So that's what we're going to wrap this video up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you prefer, the Reflex or the ELO? I did a little Twitter poll on this about a week ago over on my Twitter, and a lot of you guys seem to say ELO, so I'd love to see if it holds true here with you guys in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to like rating down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're now on that road to 30,000 subscribers, not 25. So thank you guys once again so much for that. My name is Nicole Espresso. I will see you guys later. Take care and peace.